Hello, this is Jeff Byers, and this is Annie 235, and this is Module 9, and we're looking at uh, texturing the hair, okay? So this isn't about uh, painting the hair, which you can do. Um, I found a, some hair textures online that I will provide to you guys that you can kind of uh, play around with what I'm doing here. Again, you can find your own hair textures if you'd like. Um, or even scan your own hair textures. It's up to you, um, however you want to do that. But the idea is that we need to get everything, all the UVs unitized. So um, it's not that hard to do. In fact, it's pretty easy. Uh, but let me show you how to get to that point. But let's go ahead and, and at this point where we've laid out our, our UVs, they're perfectly straight, and that's what you need to have and I've got my textures in here so you can kind of take a look at what we have this is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys again you can uh, use these if you want you can create your own you can there's lots of painting tutorials where you can paint your own hair um, whatever you'd like to do uh, is fine with me uh, but the idea is that I'm going to be texturing the face and the hair um, in Photoshop so I'm not going to get into a, a long um, painting or texturing tutorial. You can find those online if you want to know how to paint hair or create your own hair. You can find those online and you can also uh, find uh, tutorials out there for painting your face. So I'm basically going to show you, again this is not a tutorial on how to use Photoshop and how to paint. This is more how to apply everything. Okay, so these are the textures you're going to get. You get you're going to get a diffuse map or color map. You're going to get an opacity map. That means anything that is black is going to be transparent. Anything white is going to be opaque. And then the specularity. We're not going to need to have a normal map because hair is so thin and fine that you would never see that. It would look kind of weird. So that's those are our three maps. Again, the color map, the opacity map, and this is basically I'll show you how where that all goes, and then the specular map. All right. So what we have to do is you'll have to save out, um, and you probably have done this already. If you haven't, you need to do that. You're going to have to select all your hair. Um, when you actually UV map it, you need to have all the hair pieces separated if if it's possible and you're going to need to have them one-sided meaning that you'll go in here and you'll have to let's see if I can move that out of the way and let's just kind of focus on that one okay that means it's one-sided it's not double-sided okay so if you have any thickness to it you can see that is really thin I mean it's basically just a plane okay and you cannot have the other back otherwise it won't work Okay, with that said, let's go ahead and move forward with this. So each one of those will be separated, and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select them all, and you want to get that map out there. So when you're completely done and you're happy with the UVs and where they're laid out, I probably would highly suggest that you go ahead and combine everything together. And then uh, center pivot delete by type history and freeze transformations and then go into the snapshot and we're going to want to do 4096 by 4096 uh, actually I think our texture sizes are 2048 so let's do 2048 okay by 2048 and we're going to do JPEG and we're going to do tiles we're going to do the standard tile and and uh, let's go ahead and go to browse and let's go in here and I think I've already done this already we want it to do it in source images folder and I've already I've, I've already saved it out so this is where it's gonna be you're gonna have to get your uh, project set up to get it the way you want it where you want your texture to be so when you're done then you apply and close 
Overwrite, sure, I'll overwrite it. Okay. And so when you're done, then you can go in and start painting. Okay. So with the texture maps, I'm going to go back into Photoshop real quick. All right, so I'm going to see what this, uh, the image size is in their 2048. That's that's a good call there. So there it is. Okay, so now there's our um, raw UVs, and so what I'm going to do is I already know it's going to how it works, but I'm just going to go ahead and let you in, let you know what you guys should do. So what you'll do is you'll take your texture splotch here and you're going to go ahead and set it up and what I usually do is just hold the shift key down click on that and move it over into here okay and so now go in here to layer one that I can go in here and you can see the textures and you can see how they uh, lay over top of these splotches it doesn't mean you have to use every single one of these splotches, these te hair texture splotches, but it does kind of help keep your hair from looking exactly the same. That's why there's splotches here. You can have little wispy hairs like I have here and some different looking hair. It's the same thing as having a fence and having each rail duplicated over perfectly. After a while, it looks repeated, and that's the problem with hair. It will look repeated if you're not careful. So this is why I give you a splotch, you know, these splotches that you can choose from. But how do you use this? Well, you can go in here, and you know it's 2048 by 2040. You know the raw texture space is 2048 by 2048. You got that saved out. So now all I have to do is just save that back out, okay? Um, and we're going to do a JPEG, okay? And we're just going to call this, and we're going to call this texture finished okay and we'll save that out all right so the thing is with this is that we didn't move any of this hair we're gonna move the UVs to fit over the hair in, in Maya and that's gonna make it a lot easier for us to texture everything to make everything look good so I'll show you how that all works so we're done basically with Photoshop Everything's laid over top of it. And in here, all we're going to do is go to UV, UV Editor, okay? And let's go ahead and turn that off a minute just for a second here. I'm going to select the hair again. UV, UV Editor, there it is, okay? Now I'm going to apply the texture, see if I can apply a texture on here and see if we can get that to work. So I'm going to go right click over and go to assign new material. And I'm going to go to Arnold Shader. I'm going to go to AI Standard Surface. Okay. Again, I'm going to go ahead and once I do that, I'm going to go back into UV, UV Editor. Now, if your UV Editor does not refresh properly, just close it. If you don't see your textures, just go back to UV, UV Editor. It should open up just fine. So I'm going to apply the texture here. Okay, no, no texture's been applied. Okay, so I'm going to go go ahead and close that. So I need to apply a texture. So the AI standard, I'm going to rename that to be um, hair, no caps, and go into the color, color channel. I'm going to go ahead and add that color channel. You guys know how to do all this stuff, I think. And there's my hair finished. Apply that. You may not see it in here, but if we go into the UV Texture Editor, there it is right here. So now I can zoom in here, and whatever textures I have, let's just say, for instance, I have these this texture here. I've got a bunch of cards that I want to add this texture to. Okay, so let's just move those out of the way. It's just just is so easy to do this. And so what I can do now is go in here, let's just say these are all laid out. These are all the different types of hair I want to use, okay, like that. And let's just say that they're wider than, than the, the texture is. 
Okay, just say they look a little bit different. Let's make these a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so now what I do is, you know, you're going to fit, you're going to make the texture space fit the actual texture. Instead of going into Photoshop and making all those changes, you can do it here. So now I'm going to go in here and just move that over. Okay. And do what I need to do to get it fit fitting properly. And these are a bunch of textures together. Okay. And just make sure everything's fitting in here properly. And you want to make sure the hair cards, this is the end of the hair card. Okay. There's a bunch of them overlapping each other, so don't worry. And then we got this one here, which is not scaled up right because we kind of jacked with it a little bit. So now we're going to go ahead and scale that down and then scale this up to fit that area there. And you can see that it works great. Okay. And so on and so forth. So you just start placing your cards where you want them to be that fit over top of the UVs. Very simple stuff. And you can make changes just like that on the fly. And it's really not hard at all. Okay. And once you get used to it and you can move things around, let's say you don't really particularly like uh, this card, one of the cards in here. Let's say this one right here in the front. Don't like how that looks. It looks too repeated. What you do is just move it down here, scale it to fit this one. Okay and it's a totally different piece of hair. That's how easy it is. Very cool. I'm going to control Z back because that's not what I want. Alright, so there's that part. And then we have once the shells are all done, you're happy with the shells, um, then you want to save your scene, obviously. Now it doesn't mean it's it's not there. Um, it may show, it may not show. Uh, mine is showing but unfortunately Arnold sometimes is a little picky and can be a problem so don't let that worry you and don't don't worry about a little bit of stretching in here because because the way hair is it's long and it looks like it's stretched anyway um, you'll probably get away with a little stretching be careful though you know obviously right because you don't want it to look bad so there's the hair and then what's the rest of it then what you have to do then is once you got the hair the way you want it okay then what you're gonna do is uh, with this let's go back into object mode here we go um, is you're gonna add the rest of the map so I'm gonna go ahead and close that since we're, we're good with that and so we'll add, we're gonna add the rest of the map so the rest of the maps are specularity is the same as specular color okay so we're gonna go ahead and add that right so we're gonna add that specular color gonna off and we will go and find the specular color let's see if we can find it here specular there we go it's our specular here and then let's go back out again and then we're going to go down to geometry. We're going to go to opacity. Okay. We're going to go to file. We're going to go to off. We're going to use a, PN, or a JPEG. So we're looking for hair opacity. There it is. Okay, great. So there's our hair opacity. And let me see, let me get my lighting, I don't know if my lighting is in here or not, yep. Let's see if we can get this to render. Yeah, let's do a really fast render. Uh, let's go in here and make sure we don't have it maxed out or anything like that. Let's do, whenever you do like a regular test render, go with uh, 960 by 540 or 540 HD do a quick render. This shouldn't take too long now. Opacity maps do take a little longer to render. Sometimes it takes a while to process them. And it's not working. I can tell already. Let 
The opacity maps are kind of strange in um, Arnold. They're kind. It looks like it's kind of working. It does. It actually is working. But let's take a look at it. Uh, I don't think we need our specular map with this. I think we'll let the material actually work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go back into the attributes and just turn, just take the, the specular color off. So I'm going to go ahead and break connection. And we're going to turn, let's see if we can make this, let's just go to one on that. And that should help a lot. And then let's see here. And then under poly surface, we have something called Arnold. Okay, so we want to turn that off. So it's really funny with Arnold. Now they may have fixed this in Arnold 5, and that's what I have here in, in Maya 2020. That they had this on all the time, which is fine, but it should turn off automatically when you go in here and apply um, your opacity um, in the AI standard surface material but unfortunately it does not so if you see that it's not working properly go into the poly surface shape and turn that uncheck this okay so let's go ahead and do another render and see if that looks a little better I think it should now that we got the specularity off. It's not shining all over the place. Okay. Yeah, that looks better. Because you can see the individual hairs now. There we go. Okay, cool. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and rotate around. It had actually rendered pretty fast. Go back here and check it out. You want to do this for all your hair, probably, for your hair and stuff to make sure everything's working okay. Okay, great. Yeah, it's working. The opacity, opacity map is working great. So we're good. Okay, so that's hair. I hope you have a lot of fun with it and enjoy it. And uh, just do the best you can. I, I'm going to give you some samples, so just use them. Um, you can easily go into Photoshop and col uh, color balance and make it any color you want. You can add highlights to it. You can paint your own hair if you want to. Just have fun and enjoy, and that's how you put it all together in Maya. Uh, have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video.